so today's video I am going to be doing my October favorites yes I realized that we are already into November but um, I just didn't really have any time to do a October favorites in October and then um, after Halloween my boyfriend and I went away for the weekend for a little R&R and, &R. and uh, when I got back I just kind of went through some of the stuff that um, I used a lot of for the month of October I, these videos are kind of hard favorites videos are kind of hard for me to do because I don't normally use um, the same product over and over all month. I, I, I like switching it out. I just I just get bored with products and I'm just constantly switching um, hair products and skincare stuff. I just kind of switch it out a lot. So for me to have to actually pick out my favorite things is kind of hard. But I did have a few things that I did kind of repeatedly use uh, for the month of October and um, really loved them. So um, I have some skincare, some hair stuff, some skincare stuff, and some cosmetics that I used a bunch of. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to start off with is a couple of hair products that um, I bought and really kind of loved uh, this October and used the crap out of. And one of them is this hair spray. This is from Chi, and this is the Infra Texture. It's a dual action hair spray. And um, I got it at Ross. Uh, I've seen a couple of girls on YouTube or a couple of beauty vloggers uh, talk about this hairspray. So I thought I would give it a try. And I just happened to see, I went into Ross and just happened, to, if you don't go to Ross, you ought to go to Ross. Because they have a whole beauty section there. And they have like hair products that, and, and hair sprays, hair sh shampoos, and all that stuff, and they sell it for really cheap, like name brand stuff, and this was one of them. This is regularly is $20 if you bought it, like, you know, at probably like Alta or a beauty supply store, but they had it there for $9.99, so about 10 bucks. So I thought I would give it a try. Like I said, I saw a couple of beauty vloggers use this hairspray and said they really liked it, and I really like it. It's really nice. It doesn't it's not real stiff and it smells, I don't know if you guys know me, I'm like a, I gotta smell everything too. And it smells really good. It almost smells like, um, like a guy's cologne, which I know that <laughs> putting guy's cologne on your hair, but it, it really smells really good. It's got a really good clean smell to it and I absolutely, and the hold on it is pretty good. It doesn't leave your hair really stiff. And it's a good kind of texture hairspray when you're trying to like tease your hair and stuff like that. And you need a good kind of hairspray that'll put some texture in your hair. This one was a good one. So I used this one a bunch for October. I just bought this teasing brush from Ulta. And I absolutely love this brush, you guys. I, I have like teasing, I've tried teasing combs and little skinny teasing brushes and big teasing combs and I've never really found anything that I really kind of like to tease my hair. So I took a chance and said, you know, I'm just going to buy this one and I absolutely love it. And it's got the little pink bristles for, and you know, last month I was in pink mode. So when I saw they had a little pink one, they had them in like purple and I think they had them in blue and then they had them in pink and I grabbed the pink one. So it's a great teasing brush and this one, um, uh, I think it's, I don't have my glasses on you guys and you know I can't read nothing when I don't have my glasses on but this one I believe it says Spawnet, I don't know, Spawnet, Spawnet, I don't know. Anyways, it was like about five bucks at Ulta. Great, great teasing brush. St. Ives Skin Renewing Collagen Elastin uh, Body Lotion. Um, I had this like in my cabinet forever and I don't know why I stopped using it. I don't know if I just bought something else and then just started using it. Be I have like a lot of lotions and stuff. So um, for s I pulled it out of the back. It was like in the back of my cabinet somewhere and I had really kind of forgotten that I had it. So I started using this for the month of um, October and you know what? I don't know why I stopped using it because it's great. I love it. It's kind of an inexpensive. I don't think I don't think these are. It's like a real expensive um, body lotion, but this one is 
is supposed to be proven to visibly improve skin's elasticity for younger looking skin. Mm. What I like about it is it, it absorbs into your skin pretty quick. I don't like lotions that you have to, when you put them on, it just feels like you have to really just keep rubbing them and rubbing them and rubbing them in, you know, to, to get them to absorb in your skin. I don't like feeling clammy after I put lotion on. And this one seems to absorb into my skin um, pretty, pretty good. So this one ended up being my monthly favorites. Actually, I'm almost out of it now because I used it. I, I moisturize every single day. I moisturize my skin. As soon as I get out of the shower, I from head to toe, I moisturize my skin. So this is a big old bottle of St. Ives, and I'm almost out of it already. But it ended up being my uh, monthly favorite for skincare. So a couple of cosmetic products that I used for the month of October. These are some two palettes that I'm going to talk about. The first one is the Camouflage Palette 10 Concealer Shades from Coastal Scents. This palette is a really, really nice concealer palette. I have a ton of concealers. I'm like concealer freak here. I have so many. But this one is, this one I did use pretty much the month of October. I probably used it every day. What I like about this palette is, number one, you have a bunch of different shades in here. And I use it a lot, this palette a lot, when I'm doing other people's makeup because I don't, you know, it's hard to determine when you're doing a client what their skin's color's like. So this one's a nice one for that, for me anyways, because it has, it has 10 different shades. And then the other thing is, is you only have to use a little tiny bit. I mean, it's really, really concentrated almost. So a little dab goes a long way. And the consistency of it is kind of thick. It can be a little bit on the dry side. You know, most people are oily skin. I'm dry skin. So I even like it and I got very dry skin, but it, it's a great palette. And Coastal Scents, their, their cosmetics aren't very expensive. I think this palette was like 10 bucks, 10 to $12. Great palette to have though in your, in your makeup collection. The, the next one is from BH Cosmetics. You've probably heard me talk about BH Cosmetics before. Um, this is their Professional Blush 10 Color Palette Professional Blush um, Palette. This one is a palette that I pretty much used a bunch this month. Um, I used a lot of the pinks because I was in pink mode last uh, for the month of October. So I used this pink a lot. Um, which is kind of the lighter of the bunch, this one and this one. And today I am wearing this kind of um, kind of peach, kind of peachy, orangey color. So this is a great, excellent, excellent palette from B and H. Um, and again, their cosmetics are really reasonable. There again, if you're starting off with you know your makeup collection, this is really a great palette to have. And again. BH's cosmetics are really reasonable. They're, this palette I think was like $10 when I bought it. It was a while back. But I used it a bunch for the month of October. So I have um, a few B&H um, palettes. If you guys want me to do a um, like a video on my BH palettes, leave me a comment down below and depending on how many people ask me, I may do a video on the palettes that I have from B&H. But again, this is a great palette. L'Oreal's True Match uh, Foundation. This one seemed to be my favorite for the month of October. I get on kicks with um, foundations. Like I get hooked on a foundation and then I kind of forget about my other foundations that I have. And then every now and then I'll say, you know, I'm gonna switch it out. With and this one's the True Match seemed to be the one that I used a bunch this week. And it's really a really nice foundation as well. The pigment on it is really nice. Um, it's It's got, I'm, I'm wearing it today actually. It's It's got that kind of flawless type look to it too. Really creamy, smooth. It, it is absolutely a really nice, nice foundation. So this is one that I used pretty much the month of October. I don't really use bronzers too, too much on my face. I might use it in the summertime a little bit more if I'm tanned, but um, I don't like a bronzy looking face if the rest of you is not too tanned. But I do use my bronzers to 
to contour my cheekbones. That's mostly what I use my bronzers for. And I've had this one for a while and sort of forgot I had it. So I kind of pulled it out for the month of October and remembered how much, how great it was. Now I think this actually came in a kit um, with some other things in it. I'm not really too sure if they sell this on its own. But it, it's the it's from Lorac. It's their bronzer, and this one in the, is in the color bronze, and it's um, it's a huge it's a huge huge compact. I really couldn't tell you if they even sell this one anymore, but it is a nice, really nice bronzer, and I kind of forgotten that I had had it. Like I said, so I used it a bunch for the month of October, but I used it to kind of contour my cheeks. CoverGirl's Clump. Crusher mascara. This is a mascara that I used a bunch, bunch, bunch for the month of October. It separates really well. It has one of those um, kind of bent brushes. I don't know if you can see that, but it's it's got like a little curve to the brush, and the brush is kind of plastic. So um, normally I don't really like plastic brushes too too much, but the thing I do like about them is they separate your eyelashes pretty good. This one is a great one. Like I said, when I use this one, I normally don't have to use another mascara with it. You know, I just kind of have to use this one and just kind of keep building on it. And it builds very, very nice because it does separate your lashes pretty good. So your lashes don't tempt to get or don't really get clumpy when you're, you know, putting double coats on. So again, clump pressure. And then of course I just use black. Forever Red from Bath and Body Works. It's a perfume. However, I don't really wear perfume. I'm not a perfume kind of gal. Um, I prefer like lotions or, you know, perfume smelling lo uh, body lotions or, um, or body sprays. I prefer that over, over perfumes. I, I don't, I have very few perfumes. I think I only have like this one maybe maybe two other ones. I just don't wear perfume too much. But I did use this one a lot for the month of October. Um, I originally uh, discovered this scent from Taya Joy 18. Somebody had bought it for her and she had it in the hospital by her side at, at, her, at her bedside and um, that's where I first smelled it and just loved it and I thought you know that is a perfume that I could wear. I always feel like if I wear perfume people are going Damn, girl, you could kind of lay off the perfume a little bit. But because I smell, I hate smelling that on people, you know, when you like step into an elevator with somebody and they just like, whoa, you know, just floor you with their perfume and stuff. So I just don't really like wearing it too much. I like subtle scents, but this one is a nice one. This one again is like for Forever Red and it's from Bath and Body Works. And I think I got this on sale and it was like, um, I don't know, like five bucks for this, for this little purse, kind of purse tube. So I don't normally, even if I do buy a perfume, I don't buy a big one. I buy a small one because I just don't wear it. So, you know, they'll go bad by the time I'm done with a bottle of it. A couple of nail polishes that I used a bunch for the month of October. This is, I used um, these two together. Um, this one is in the bubblegum pink. And then from uh, Sally Hansen, this is a part of their Extreme Wear uh, line of um, nail polish. You guys got to try these nail polishes. They are really, really nice nail polishes. And they're cheap. They're only like $2.50 or something. And then um, uh, the OPI, which we know OPI is pretty expensive. And this one is in Happy Anniversary. I don't really buy OPI too, too much. I, there really has to be a real, you know, color that it just floors me, you know, that I have to have. Um, this one I've had for a while. This one's called Happy Anniversary. I used these two together for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I did a pink ribbon with this one on one of my fingers. And then the other two colors I used a bunch this month. This one is from MAC. It's on, um, I don't even know if they sell this one anymore, but this one is in the color cream. It's just a white nail polish. And then on top of it, I used again a Sally Hansen uh, Extreme Wear, and this one is in Disco Ball. 
and it's just a really pretty shimmery lots of glitter on it so I used this one and then I used this one on top and it was really pretty together so I use this is what I use pretty much the whole month of October so if you guys watch some of my other videos um, you probably know that I am um, in love with gummy vitamins so I was using another brand called Vitafusion for a little while and those are really good too but I found these here I wanted to try something different and this is from Nature's Way these are the Alive and they're the Women's Gummy Vitamins they have 26 fruits and vegetables supports bones and skin and nails and they are of course the gummies these things are so freaking good Ugh. Um, they absolutely do not taste like a vitamin. I mean, uh, if they weren't a vitamin and they were just candy, I probably would just be buying these and eating them all the time. Really good, you guys. It's a toothbrush and I stubbed my toe. This is the Oral-B Cross Action Toothbrush. My boyfriend is the one that turned me on to this particular brand of toothbrushes. He's been using his forever. I normally don't like um, electric toothbrushes because I don't really like that vibration in your mouth. It reminds me of when you go to the dentist and they have to drill your teeth on your teeth. But um, I do like this brush. It's, it's a pretty good brush for an inexpensive one. This one... I think was only like, I don't know, six bucks maybe. And then you can replace, the heads are replaceable, so you can replace them for, I don't know, I replace my heads every three weeks or so. And uh, you get two heads when you replace them and they cost like five bucks for two heads. And then of course it's battery operated, so it just takes a double A battery. So I bought this at the beginning of October and absolutely love it. So that's it, you guys, for my October favorites video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. I do have some videos planned for the month of November. I have some companies that sent me a few things that I'm going to be reviewing. If there's a particular video that you guys would like to see me do, uh, leave me a comment below. I do get a little um, stumped as well as to what type of video I should do. So if there's anything in particular you guys would like to see me do, just leave me a comment below and I'll see what I can do. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching and until next time you guys, take care. Bye. Did you say it to me? That was really really hard. I just turned back on the camera and this whole time Mike's in the pad. really hard. What? Ow! I just like almost like hurt my toe. This whole time she was like that was really Be hard. hard. That was really, really hard. hard. Like that was like really well, really hard. You can't feel your eyes either. Like I literally can't. I really literally could not feel my eyelid. Why not? I don't know. I just could not feel my eyelid. <laughs> Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody. This was all her makeup she used. Makeup. Let's see all that, all that makeup. And then this was some of mine.